Aloha. Thanks for tuning in to yoga. We'll begin in a couple moments. A couple minutes, honestly. Make sure you have everything you need to feel comfortable. Perhaps something to drink. A cushion, a towel, a bolster of any sort. another 30 seconds or so. Today we're going to start standing. Yes, that's right. You heard right. Standing up. If you're not already, please make your way to standing. exercise today. Yoga our way. Inhale your arms out to the side and up. As you exhale, simply bring your arms down the way they came up. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, easy down. Now again, arms circle high. As you exhale, this time find your center line. Hands come together. Slide down to your heart. Inhale, hands back up the center line. Turn your palms to face forward as they slide down. Imagine wiping your windows clean. Two more times like that. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, hands down the midline. Inhale, hands up the middle. Palms face forward as you exhale. Slide. Last time. Exhale, finding center. Inhale, redefining center. Or center line. Clean slate then. Empty the breath. Let go. Tension. Feel your body standing here tall. Spread your toes a little bit. Maybe even lift the arches of the feet. Or aware in the soles of your feet and ankles, all the way through the toes. Stand tall. The name of this shape is Mountain Pose. Gently roll your palms forward. And it'll tuck your elbows under the shoulders. Relax the muscles of your glutes. The buttons relax. The lower abdominal muscles, kindly pull them in. Relax your legs a bit, more or less touching those legs. Glutes relaxed. Tummy toe. Tension on the soles of your feet. This shape will 
oftentimes sway a little this way and that way. Try to find steady. Calm the movement, if any, down. Observe your breathing. Place your hands towards your knees as you fold in half, well, halfway down. The other half of the way down, please, if you're not already. Relax through the back of your neck a moment here. Shake your head no twice. And shake your head yes twice. Place your hands to your knees. Inhale, straighten your arms as you rise about halfway up. Exhale, fold again. You can keep your hands on your knees for stability. You might take your hands down towards your feet or the floor. Again, hands to knees if not already. Inhale, halfway up. Pass through that, inhaling all the way up. Sweep your arms overhead. And exhale, find center. Two more times like that. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to knees as you fold. Call this a swan dive forward. Continue the descent down, all the way down. Inhale, half lift and flat back. Exhale and forward fold. Hands to knees helps your torso move. Inhale, rise all the way up, arms high. Exhale, find your center line. Last time. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, swan dive. Forward folding. Inhale, half lift. Hands to knees. Exhale, fold. Hands to knees helps you up. That way your lower back doesn't do all the work. Inhale, rise tall. Now keep your hands high and bow to the side. Head and shoulders to your left. Your hips and pelvis, dare you bow out a little further there. Careful though. Inhale, rise. Exhale, other side. Dare you bow the hips a little further out there. Inhale, rise. And exhale, release your arms by your side. Very good. Open your feet about as wide as your shoulders. Lovely. Notice where your spine is, that center line. Take your spine on top of your left foot, like this. I lift my right heel, the foot points more or less, and the spine shifts on top of the left foot. Noting the spine's length, keep it long, tilt it now in line with the right leg. A little reach of your left hand out here can help you lift those toes. Dare your right toes up. Feel forced to lift the toes though. Gently place your toes and then your heel down. Spine finding center. Center between both feet. Your spine, bring it on top of your right foot now. Lift the left heel. Shift this way. Good. Try to get taller in both directions. Up through the spine, down through the leg. Take the spine up and long, out to the side this way. Spine in line with now left leg. If you feel the counterbalance, your left toes will want to lift. If they don't want to lift, don't force it. 
One day you'll feel the counterbalance and the toes will lighten off the ground. If you force it, sometimes there's a stumble. I don't want you to stumble. Force nothing. Toes down, heel down, and you find center. Very good. Feet together. Bend your knees three times. One, straighten. I bet you can go a little lower. Be nice, of course. Two, and up. Notice what's stopping you from going lower. For me, it's in my knees and my Achilles. There's tightness and tension there that prevents me from going any lower. Rise. Oh, is that it already? Bend the knees and keep them bent, but just a little bent, like a quarter of the way down. Perfect. Inhale, arms to shoulder height, knees ever so slightly bent. Exhale, pull your hands back towards the shoulders, and then push your hands down. Inhale, arms up to shoulder height. Exhale, hands pull back, and push down. Just a simple breathing exercise, three more times. Inhale, the arms float, warming up the thighs. Exhale, hands back and down. Inhale up. Exhale, hands back and down. And if the knee is bent is too much to sustain, you can always straighten the legs before me. Inhale, last time. Exhale. And let's straighten those knees, if not already. Okay. Knees to the ground. How to do that? Well, I like to take hands to knees, that halfway down bit, and then try to find the floor with the hands. Fingertips first, then the palms. You might make an easier connection if the heels lift off the ground. However, you need to get the hands down by all means. The knees then follow. Careful, careful, careful. This is tabletop for all fours. Please clean it up a little bit. Hands directly under the shoulders and knees directly underneath of the pelvis. Hips. Your feet directly behind the knees and notice toes are tucked under you. Allow your belly to drop down to the ground and look up towards the ceiling. Call this one happy cat. Point your toes back and round your spine the other way like a scared cat. Push a little extra down through your arms and hands, spine rounding up towards the ceiling. Inhale, bow the spine the other way. Belly down, tail up, toes tuck, head up. Exhale is a little more vigorous than the inhale. Toes point back, round your spine, and look between your knees. Last one now, toes tuck under. Inhale, softly drop the belly, lift the gaze. As you exhale, point the toes back, round your spine, scared cat. Inhale, neutral spine. Send your seat back towards your feet. This is child's pose. It's a rough one on the knees if you're not accustomed to it. Be careful. You don't have to take your seat all the way to the feet. You can go as far as you comfortably can. Yeah, this may be it for some of you. But as you're comfortable, we do work the seat back towards the feet. And after all, rest the head lower. Here, a block or a cushion or a rolled up towel might be of assistance underneath of the head. I like to stack my arms, one on top of the other. Rest my head there. And some of you might be comfortable resting your forehead to the ground. Now, let's come out of all fours. Inhale up to the tabletop. And then sit off to one side or the other. So now we're on the ground. Congratulations. You've made it. The hard part of class over. Now, I like the floor work. Roll your shoulders back, crisscross your legs if you comfortably can. After that child's pose, your knees might not be happy here. Yeah, 
you're always welcome to open up the crisscross as much or as little as you need to. This is a favorite of mine. One leg in, the other softly out. But if comfortable, crisscross the legs and flesh out from under you. Literally get the flesh out from underneath you manually. Use your hands to pull the glute out from underneath the sit bone. And float the spine tall. What does that mean? Use your intention to get a longer spine, not physical force. If you suck your tummy muscles in, you will shoot up a little bit taller, but try not to work too hard. Relax your shoulders, your upper back and neck, the arms straight. And like we found standing in mountain pose, the palms are more or less facing forward or up. The elbows underneath the shoulders. Backs and hands resting towards the knees. Float through posture. Intend a longer spine and longer neck. But encourage softer legs, softer shoulders, and softer arms. Relax neck, jaw, top. Sit here with me another 30 seconds or so. Noticing the breath. No need to change it. Well, you're welcome to. Feel your inhale. Feel your exhale. Feel with your whole body sensation. Else that make up right now. And stop of your present moment. In your eyes slowly, if not already. And let's place the other leg in front or sit in any other way. positions, it's important to remove that flesh out from underneath of the sit bones again, the sacroiliac tuberosities, the bottom bones of your bones. Out of my arms, look. Elbows, you'll notice, are a little out to the side. I encourage you to get the elbows under the shoulders, palms up. This one, a little more closed off. Heart caves in, the shoulders forward a little bit. This one a little more open, encourages the shoulders back, the heart open, giving more length through the torso. And again, you are to imagine that length rather than muscle. Now, keeping your spine long, twist, a gentle twist to your right. Left hand comes across to the right leg, and the right hand comes behind you. Sit up a little bit taller. And to keep the spine long, ever longer. Jaw level, notice I want to lift my chin too. Jaw level, and then the skull via the neck muscles, your face turns back, your skull back. You might use your arms to twist the rib cage around a little bit more. Notice what you feel, do you feel good? Pull your ribs a little bit more around into the twist. Be 
nice with your body. Continue to breathe. Beware a gentle smile. comfortably can get the toes and knee to point up. Now you'll notice my knee is bent and you're welcome to have your knee bent. If you comfortably can extend the leg by all means please do. Lift through the length of your spine. Notice me. Grow taller. You do too. Twist towards the left knee. Walk your hands out and over it. Try to keep those right toes and right knee pointing up as you take your heart, your sternum, towards left knee. Spine, center line, spine and center line we've learned is important. Right? We want to get our spine over the center of our thigh as the hands walk out and then lower you. Tendency is for the right hip that sit bone to come off the ground a little bit. Do not let that happen. You keep your right hip down, your right knee up and your toes up, even as you guide the heart towards the knee. Long spine and all. If you've surrendered and lost the length in your spine, shame, shame. Never shame, shame. Just do try to keep the length of your spine. Rather than surrendering low, to keep a little lift. It's just easier to rise. Let's do that now. Up into posture. You'll notice forward is not that different. It's not that drastic a shift than tall. We twist the other way. Posture up. Spine tries to center over now the right leg. My angle more back. Your torso really wants to go inside of the leg this way. You want to go the other way. you may surrender the shoulders, head and neck. A slouchy feeling over the right leg. And peek forward at your right toes, make sure they're pointing up. Peek forward at me and kindly lift your spine a little bit. It looks like this. Use your arms to help. Lengthen the spine up and away from the pelvis. Good. Right arm inside the right leg, like so. Brings the left shoulder around back a little bit. Take the left arm overhead. Notice where your spine is, if you can imagine that. Spine going right over the right leg. Right toes more or less pointing up. Right knee more or less pointing up sides of your pelvis rounded, your gaze past the left shoulder and the left elbow. Dare you a little more reach through the left arm, that was a dare, not mandatory. Dare you drop your head a little more. Breathe in. As you exhale, facing this left knee. Very good. We're going to lift the pelvis. If you bring right toes to the ground this way, you'll notice your hip comes up off the floor. At least that right hip does. Gently guide your right foot, the inside of your right foot, down to the ground like so. Both hands come and frame the left knee. Try to lift up onto that left knee. Up here. 
if you found success, strong left arm is your base, dare your right arm to reach up towards the ceiling. Danger, that's a dare. Hand down, hip down, slow, slow as you go. Please move extra stuff slow and stay low until your toes point up. And then come up by the center. A long spine, quick check, head, shoulders, knees and toes doing okay. Switch to the other side. As you're comfortable here. And if here is not comfortable, here I should have mentioned this five minutes ago. Some of you, as you're in this exercise, cannot help but to be rounded here in the lower back. And that makes all of this trying to get the spine over the center of your leg business very hard to accomplish. Some of you might be better served sitting up on a cushion or a block because it allows for an easier time of lifting through posture. Always want the spine plump. Find yourself here. Don't be afraid of giving yourself a little support. It's much easier to keep posture tall when you're sitting on something. Excuse me for that side note. Oh, now, where were we? Posture tall flesh out from underneath of the pelvis. Take that long spine and turn towards now the right knee. Frame the knee and lean over the leg, but keep your spine long and lengthened. There's no surrender, not yet. Notice, as your left hip come up, mine has. Can you watch as I put it back down? Oof, did you see it? It's up and that's down little bit of movement, I don't know if you can see it. But the spine is always lengthening, so the rib cage is always lifting away from the pelvis whenever you can muster it. And again, spine is more or less, more or less, as it is comfortable in your body, spine is more or less over right thigh. Now, rise all the way up. Other side, we twist the torso and try to take the spine over the thigh. Reach the hands down the leg wherever that is comfortable. Rest your hands wherever comfortable. Try to aim a little more behind the leg rather than in front. And rest your hands wherever they may rest. Surrender the shoulders lower, closer to the leg nose closer to the knee, release to the back of your neck, your chin might even tuck into the chest. Ideally, left toes and knee pointing up. If not, don't worry about it. Ideally. strength to lengthen your spine just a little bit. Yeah, lifts you some. Left hand, left arm, inside of left leg. That brings the right shoulder back some. Try to bring the right shoulder even more back. Right arm overhead. Right elbow more or less bent as it's comfortable in your body. You might explore different lengths. Notice they do feel different. You might relax your head. Gaze softly past the right elbow. Can you surrender any lower? This is if reaching your fingers towards your toes. Rise up. 
Find posture tall. Catch yourself. Shoulders level, long neck. And then we twist again. Torso over the right leg. Lean forward. As you do, bring your left foot and roll it down to the ground. Your left hip comes up off the floor as well. Hands framing right knee. Try to lift the pelvis. You might surprise yourself. If it does lift, keep your right arm strong and long. Dare your left arm up. An extra press or pull through with the hips is welcome. You may lag behind. Breathe in. Both hands down for control. As you lower your pelvis back down, try to keep your shoulders low. That makes for a softer landing of the pelvis. Once the pelvis is down, we can rise. Check in on the self. Both legs long and out to the side. Reach your arms high. Breathe in as the arms go up. Exhale again, long spine, rib cage lifting away from the pelvis, leans forward. Take your long spine, rib cage and all, forward. Hands to the ground, perhaps elbows one day. Shoulders and neck, relax after all. You get to surrender here. shape is unbearable, but there's a big round in the lower back here. Again, you might choose to sit on a block or a cushion through all of these leg stretches we've done. your arm strength and a toned tummy. Please pull your tummy muscles in. Inhale, rise. Push down with your arms to rise. Up. Oh, how do you feel? Good? Butterfly. Nay. Trapasana. It's not as tucked in as butterfly. We'll get to butterfly in just a minute. Trapasana first. The knees bend out to the side and the heels kiss, they touch. Flesh, pull it out from underneath of the pelvis. Take your hands behind you. Fingertips are going to point out to the side as you ground your palms down. Can you see that in my hands? Fingers pointing out to the sides, not forward, not back. Fingers pointing out to the sides. Press your knees down and lift your chest just a little bit. The chin may follow with a soft lift, but I've got my eyes on you. You can keep your eyes on me if you like. Soften the chest and shoulders, feel slouchy. Take the hands towards the ankles and surrender. Turn your tummy in a lot as you do. After all, relax the back of your neck. Come in. Use your arm strength and an inhale to roll up your spine. As you exhale, pull the heels of your feet closer to you. 
Again, take the hands around back. Fingertips are going to point out to the side. For a little lift through back bend, the tailbone might curl back as your rib cage lifts forward and up, the chest lifts and the chin may lift just a touch. will touch the floor. You might be more satisfied with your elbows resting back on your legs here if they cannot touch the ground. Somewhere hovering here with the elbows is fine too. I want you to relax your head though. Put on your tummy in just a little bit as you tuck the chin in. Don't be opposed to falling lower in time. Gravity will pull you down in drips and drabs, bit by bit, here and there. Release tension as you fold over this butterfly pose. strength to rise. Very nice. Extend your legs long. Toes up, knees up. I'm going to turn in line with my mat. Perhaps you already are, so you wouldn't need to turn. And it blocks. back and stand your feet to the ground. We call this one constructive rest. It's a resting shape for the low back. Close your eyes here a moment. Notice temperature on your skin. your breathing. Notice sensations in the back of your pelvis.
your feet towards each other. Back to constructive press. Arms open to a T. Arms in line with the shoulders, more or less. We lift the arms like this to make space for the knees to fall. Knees, take them left. Turn your face to the right. The top leg, the right leg, might extend long. You're welcome to keep your right leg longer into the twist. The extra weight of an extended leg pulls your right hip more across. You want to keep the right shoulder down. Can you walk the left shoulder blade further away? Exhale, stack your ankles. And then reset center. Knees up, nose up. Knees fall to the right, nose turns to the left. Feel free to extend your left leg long into the twist. Perhaps walk your right shoulder blade out to the right a little bit more. More space between the shoulder blades. We encourage that left shoulder to stick out. Kindly, gently, fetal position on your right side. Take a little pause here. Just a short nap. 30 seconds or so. leg position or any other comfortable leg position. If you are sitting here with the lower back rounded, despite how much you lift, slouchy in that lower back, always feel free to sit onto a folded towel, a cushion, a pillow, yoga block, different heights of yoga blocks you'll see. self-discovery, really, and self-care. Flesh out from underneath of you. 
Thank you so much for taking care of yourself. This is important work, especially at times like this. Find your spine. Palms up, elbows in. Feel peace. Feel ease, even if you need to rally it. Dig deep. I hope it's accessible though. The sense of ease. Peace. find center life. Thank you for sharing your time and attention today. Namaste. Good work. Let me know how you feel about starting standing. I know some of you enjoy starting on the ground. It's really one of my favorite places to start a class from, lying down on the back. But we got there eventually, didn't we? Thanks again for your time and attention. I'll see you next time. Ahui ho.